discussed about the basics of machine learning and how the flowchart works in this video uh, we are going to extend and learn linear regression quick recap of what we discussed was we get the data the split the, then split the data 80 20 into train and test then you will understand it's going to be a supervised or unsupervised how you're going to do that unsupervised will not have a target that is observation then if it is continuous or discrete continuous is any value and discrete are self-defined set of values you will apply classification or regression and then train the model once the model is trained you test the model using the test data which is 20 percent and then continuous or discrete validation will occur with different parameters for discrete that means classified set of values you will use confusion matrix and rmsc and there can be multiple other parameters which you can use i just use this for validation and then add. this is a simplified machine learning model which we did in the last video as well let's move on to the next one all right so we are here so the next step so we got the data right we got the data we plotted the data what we found was the data is very very simple linear right and then what we will do is we'll split the data in order to split the data we would use a train test split function and if you look at it this is a train test split function which i called from sk learn which is scikit learn model selection and using the scikit learn itself i was able to call a linear underscore model which is nothing but linear regression so i'm going to use that these two here I'm just scrolling down so train test split what we are going to do is the x and y here x area y is the price we split using any random test data now what we will do is we'll plot the train data if you look at it the train data is a subset of this data set let me just plot it one more time here all right i have to run this one so split the data is done and then i can plot it so if you look at it randomly from this data set there are few dots which are missing now so this is the entire data set i'm then splitting into train and test so in the train you will have few of these data sets missing because those are in the test one so let me plot the test one as well so how you can do that click on here add code and i'm going to plot the test also so you would see that the union of train and test would be the entire data set see this is your test data test data if you if you add these both if you add these two up this will become your entire data set so all i have done till now is just split the data into two different sections all right time for linear regression so what you will do is you will use lr linear regression remember this linear regression was imported in the import statements above and then linear regression can take values and we have to reshape the values for now do not worry about the reshape just write the same thing so lr dot fit so this is initiation of linear regression linear regression dot fit so i am training the model this is training the model fit is train so for now do not worry about the reshape data just copy and paste it you can use this you can get the link of this linear regression diy2 from the google drive link which is mentioned in the video description section of this video so x train dot values dot reshape it's shaping some kind of values you can print it and find out but for now do not worry about it and then y train so x and y are used to fit that means train the model and let me just take this out so that i will just train the model for now so training the model is done and then i'm going to do a predict to predict the value that means to test the value i'm going to use x test if you look at it to train i have used x train and y train but now i am predicting y which is the price therefore 
I created a new variable which is y pred. This is my predicted value from this model. So using the test I am predicting. So y pred is the output of the model which was trained using this fit. Now I have y test that means the values which are actually coming from data and then y pred which are the values which my model predicted. So test data, actual data and this is model predicted data set. You can use control s to save it. Now let's let's do this. I'm going to print y and x. So you saw that y these are my predicted values so test values and these are my predicted values and if you look at it everything matches obviously because I had a very simple equation so 101324370 if you look at it test this is test and these are my predicted values of course it's going to match because it was simple now let me just plot it so I'm going to plot this shape over here and you look at it the red dots are my predicted values and the blue dots are my test values sorry are train values and you can see the whole linear plot is plotted very very simple data set but just to show you the concept of linear i am going to find out the equation of the linear you can see x and y equation uh, intercept and coefficient i am just going to explain in a few minutes the equation is Take the x value, that means the area, multiplied it by 199.5 plus add 1574 as a constant. Remember in our school days, we had a slope function which was y equal to mx plus c. m is the co coefficient and c was the constant. So, coefficient and intercept, intercept is the co constant using this value you would predict and again the data set was very very linear it was super linear it was it was a straight line but in real world you will not find a straight line of all the values around x and y axis so this is only for learning purposes to understand the concept of linear regression what i wanted you to do is use this data set and go through it the data set is also available on the google drive link which is mentioned in this video below so with that i would leave you with this linear regression please watch the video multiple times and learn from it questions post it in the comment section of this youtube video thank you for watching